janefinch.com. Good evening, everyone. Mr. Saris, ladies and gentlemen, consuls general, distinguished guests all. Welcome to the Lieutenant Governor's Suite. I want to begin by respectfully acknowledging this territory of the Huron-Wendat and Platoon First Nations, the Seneca, the Mississaugas of the New Credit River, the Iroquois Confederacy, and the Confederacy of the Ojibwe. Tonight we celebrate the best of Canada's ethnic press and media. It's my pleasure to host again this event and I warmly welcome the award recipients and their guests. In this past year as Lieutenant Governor, I've been listening to the many stories of Ontarians. I've witnessed amazing successes and heard about hard work and challenges and also about hopes and aspirations. I've asked questions about the role of Ontario in the world. What can we contribute to the world? And what does the world offer to us? Ontarians live in an increasingly interconnected world, and we see ourselves growing ever more culturally diverse. This event is an excellent opportunity to share some of the stories and to explore Ontario's role because the ethnic press and media play such a large and growing role in connecting Ontario communities to each other and to the world. And I certainly want to encourage your work in these areas. Our success as a culturally diverse society has made us in many ways the envy of the world. But I think we must be eternally vigilant and deliberately and consciously create and maintain the conditions that allow for social cohesion and inclusion. Organizations such as the National Ethic Press, Ethnic Press, and Media Council of Canada are most significant. Ethnic media creates and fosters an open dialogue among Canadians. The ability of the media to give voice to new Canadians in their own language and cultural setting helps an untold number of people to adjust to new realities and participate effectively in Canadian society. Thanks in part to you, new Canadians are able to find a cherished sense of belonging and can become better informed and better able to assume civic responsibilities as fully engaged citizens. Today's award recipients portray how this dynamic process allows Ontario's highly diverse population to integrate into Canadian society successfully. And as media professionals, you're also well placed to illuminate for Canadians our place in the community of nations, to remind us of the worlds beyond our borders. You bring an international perspective. You illustrate daily the challenges that we share in common with the rest of the world and through such exchange of news and stories you illustrate and remind us that we also share a common humanity. I am impressed by all that you have accomplished. My thanks to Mr. Saras for his vision, for bringing us together, and for giving us the opportunity to recognize the work that you do. My warmest congratulations to award recipients. I know that you realize that recognition from one's professional peers must be most satisfying and fulfilling. So this evening, we celebrate all that you do to enhance social inclusion and cohesion here at home and to build stronger connections abroad. But as importantly, we also celebrate excellence in the craft of journalism by telling your stories accurately, objectively, and compellingly, you set standards for this noble profession. So thank you. And to all of you, family and friends, enjoy the evening. Merci, Magrette.
Thank you, Your Honor. And now it is my pleasure to invite President and CEO of the National Ethnic Press and Media Council of Canada to come forward, Mr. Tom Saris. Don't look at me, I'm old. <laughs> Your Honor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Canada's ethnic media, and also all two awards recipients. It is an honor and indeed a distinct privilege for me and my colleagues to welcome you all today to this recognition of those who distinguish themselves in the service of Canada's diversity in our great multicultural society founded on the freedom of the press. Your Honor, it was but a year ago that we were among the first voices to welcome you to the office of the Lieutenant Governor. Thank you for your vibrant example and contribution to Ontario and to Canada. It is in your distinguished presence that the National Ethnic Press and Media Council of Canada wishes today to express its congratulations to this year's recipients and also a sincere thank you and gratitude to you personally and through you to the people of this great province of Ontario and to Her Majesty. Your staff, a dynamic group of men and women, have been invaluable in their constant help, support, and enthusiasm, which extends far and beyond the sense of duty. Your Honor, we truly appreciate your continued support in hosting our event. This is a tradition that you had no hesitation in to continuing. By doing so, Your Honor, not only the members of the National Ethnic Press and Media Council of Canada and the 750 Canadian publications they represent, but also the panorama of the ethnic communities they serve in more than 90 languages, other than English or French, fully appreciate and understand. For this gesture, we are most grateful to you. Your presence here today also exemplifies care, concern, and recognition of the realities and the importance of the roles that our ethnic communities play in the development of the Canadian multicultural mosaic. This has even more significance today when in other places of the globe, thousands are living under conditions which fail to comply with minimum standards of health safety and decency, or simply struggle to protect their lives and the future of their children. For the small children and students going to school hungry becomes unacceptable to any civilized and democratic society. Three millennia ago it was Aristotle who declared that all men are equal. Although this principle is the linchpin of our modern democratic societies, 3,000 years later, we still battle inequality in most areas of our society. We together as a country are upholders of the ideal of democracy in our government and society. As a nation, we seek spiritual union with those who love freedom. Although from many bloods and diverse national origins, we stand before the world as one people, united in a common democratic determination. Furthermore, we believe that freedom of expression and freedom of information are important pillars for the successful democracy. And these pillars are found in principles of the utmost importance to the members of the National Ethic Press and Media Council of Canada. We live in a democratic society. Our instrument is honor and friendship. Our guiding light in this organization is to ensure the increase of understanding of each other. 
Our basis is confidence to each other. These are the basic elements we reply upon the safeguard our rights and our liberties. As we together build our common Canadian and universal culture for existing the future generations of Canadians. In the pursuit of these principles, our editors, writers, and publishers work very hard to speak knowledge of the world events in their neighborhood and cross and between our ethnic communities and to every corner of the planet to the citizen of Canada and the world. Allow me to point out that no corporate entity funds them. They are independently run by professionals who have to work hard in order to serve their ethnic community. For most of us, producing an ethnic medium is a daily struggle. Yet, some of us have been successful enough to be around for 40, 40 or 50 years. As an example of this statement stands today, the Canadian Jewish News, the Canada Somat, within history of 83 years, the Sir News, the Sarvan, the Pride News, the Philippine Reporter with over 50 years of publishing, and same with the rest of tonight's recipients. Your Honor, in this spirit of courage and commitment that we are recognizing here today, today we are also recognizing members of different ethnic communities for their efforts and success to make a difference in the lives of all Canadians, from the principal of a school for her kindness to embrace equality and inclusion across the entire student population, to officers of peace as they serve Canadian communities in their best ways to unite law enforcement with community service. They all have come to this great country of ours seeking to positively contribute to our society. Most of our honorees grew up without experience in life in countries where the destiny of the citizen is determined by the status of their birth, not more than the scope of their talent. Here in Canada, our social standing, race, religious, and political beliefs, language, and the ability of expression are of no consequence compared with our ability, dedication, merit, and ambition. This is something recognized very well, among others, by Inspector Sonia Thomas, Surgeon Paul Chiang, Dr. Mary Jo Lady, Mr. Panayotis Jimas, Mr. Rawson James, Mr. Thuraza Singham, Omna Balam, Dr and Ahilakuram Muthu Thukumaram Sai for their achievements we honor them today. Those by recognizing this evening recipients, we acknowledge our appreciation for what they tirelessly do for their communities, and at the same time we wish them luck and encourage them to continue their wonderful efforts in the future. Finally, speaking directly to those of you we honor today, I wish to express our thanks again for being here and allow me to extend our hearty congratulations to all you recipients. Merci. Thank you, Mr. Saris, for both your kind and powerful words. And now it is my pleasure to invite Ms. Maria Saris Futsinas to come forward and read today's citations. Ms. Saris Futsinas. Good evening, Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen. With the amazing caliber of recipients this year, it would be impossible to explain the tremendous accompli accomplishments of each recipient. We are pleased to offer a brief synopsis to efficiently honor all of today's wonderful honorees. 
we begin tonight's awards with our first recipient. Your Honor, Sergeant Paul Chang. Sergeant Chang is a member of the Diversity and Cultural Resources Unit of York Region Police Force. He is being honored today for his outstanding contributions to bridging existing gaps between police and community while promoting diversity. Your Honor, Sergeant Paul Chang. Your Honor, Mr. Las Livat. Mr. Livat is the Honorary Consul General of Estonia and Toronto. He is President of the Estonian World, World Council. He worked as editor of the English language Estonian Life newspaper. He is being recognized today for his distinguished contributions to democracy and to Canadian multiculturalism. Your Honor, Mr. Las Livat. Your Honor, Dr. Mary Jo Letty. Dr. Letty is widely recognized for her work with political refugees at the Toronto Romero House, where she is serving as director. She is the founding editor of the Catholic New Times and author of the book, Say to the Darkness, We Beg to Differ. Dr. Letty is a member of the Order of Canada. Dr. Letty is being recognized today for her dedication to human rights and distinguished services to diverse communities. Your Honor, Dr. Mary Jo Letty. Your Honor, Inspector Sonia Thomas. Inspector Thomas joined the Toronto Police Force as the second female black officer in October of 1986. As an inspector, she is the highest ranking female black officer in the service and currently second in command of 53 Division. Inspector Thomas is being recognized for supporting and mentoring new officers within the service and recruiting quality applicants from diverse communities. Your Honor, Inspector Sonia Thomas. Your Honor, Mr. Panayotis Zimas. Mr. Zimas came to Canada over 50 years ago from his native Castoria in Western Macedonia, Greece. An electrical engineer educated at McGill University, he worked with many Canadian companies in his field. Mr. Zimas is being recognized for his dedication and efforts for the development and promotion of educational needs in three linguistic schools and libraries in English, French, and Greek. Your Honor, Mr. Panayotis Zimas. Your Honor, Mr. Abdul Wafi Hadi. A public engineer, Mr. Abdul Wafi Hadi has demonstrated a passion to help others and try to make a difference in the lives of people of the Afghani community. He is being recognized for his volunteer and philanthropic contributions. Your Honor, Mr. Abdul Wafi Hadi. Your Honor, Ms. Shadi Musavi Nia. Ms. Musavi Nia is a community activist, hardworking and dedicated individual with a lifelong passion for volunteerism, helping others in community building within the community. We honor Ms. Musavi Nia in recognition of her outstanding contributions to the public. Your Honor, Ms. Shadi Musavi Nia. Your Honor, Mr. Ahila Kumaran Muthu Marasami. A businessman originally, Mr. Muthu Marasami, in order to help his community and also the people back home, created Tamil CNN, which became one of the main sources of information for the people of his community. Mr. Muthu Marasami is being recognized today for his tireless commitment to human rights and volunteerism. Your Honor, Mr. Ahila Kumaran Muthu Marasami. Your Honor, Mr. Mashud Naseri. Mr. Nasseri is an active member of his community, where he has supported community groups and organizations in order to help their members to integrate into the Canadian mainstream. He is recognized today for his volunteer work in supporting Iranian-Canadian youth and seniors. Your Honour, Mr. Mashoud Nasseri. Your Honour, Dr. Thuraira Jasingam Punam Palam. Dr. Poonam Palam practices medicine in Ontario. He is being honored today for his scientific work together with his community involvement and his humanitarian help to the poor and needy, creating a powerful picture of a Canadian leader. Your Honor, Dr. Thuraira Jasingam Poonam Palam. Your Honor, Mr. Vinay Sithambi Thuraira Mr. Thurairaja is the head of the Tamil Ilam Society of Canada 
and the Canadian Tamil Academy, as well as a special president of the International Movement for Tamil Culture. Today he is recognized for his work in order to create a better life with equal opportunities and justice for all members of his community. Your Honour, Mr. Vinas Thambi Thurai Raja. Your Honour, Mr. Royson James, a native of Jamaica. Mr. James is the Municipal Affairs columnist with the Toronto Star since 1991. He is being recognized today as a passionate defender of equity. He believes in Toronto's ability and desire to make the capital of Ontario a beacon of hope for the world and a symbol of peace, cooperation and prosperity for all its citizens. Your Honour, Mr. Royson James. Your Honour, Mr. Michael Van Kooten. Michael Van Kooten is currently the publisher and editor of Pride News Magazine and Pride News Online, and the founder, chair, and CEO of Pride Incorporated, a media and communications corporation. He is being recognized today for being a passionate community builder and leader. Your Honor, Mr. Michael Van Kooten. Your Honor, Mr. Jatin Naik. Mr. Naik covers news and events happening in Canada with relevance to South Asian communities. His columns also include topics affecting Canada international developments as well as events affecting the multicultural fabric of our country. He is being recognized today as an advocate of peace and cooperation among the various ethnic communities of our country. Your Honour, Mr. Jatin Naik. Your Honour, Canadian Jewish News, Yoni Goldstein. Mr. Goldstein is the editor-in-chief of one of the most respected ethnic publications, the Canadian Jewish News. We are recognizing Mr. Goldstein for his courage to accept to serve the publication during hard economic times and to continue the services rendered to the community. Your Honour, receiving for the Canadian Jewish News, the editor-in-chief, Mr. Yoni Goldstein. Your Honour, Cher, Arnold August. Mr. August is the publisher and editor of the Share Publication, one of the most respected publications among the members of the Caribbean community. We are honored to award Mr. August today as his publication is considered as one of the top ethnic publications in Canada. Your Honor, unfortunately, Mr. August is not here today, so we will accept this award on his behalf. Your Honor, Canada Na Sanomat, Lisa Kurechi. Ms. Karechi is the editor of Canada Sanomat, a publication serving the Finnish community of Canada for the last 83 years. In celebration of their achievements, today we are recognizing this great milestone to the achievements of this publication. Your Honour, receiving for the publication is its editor, Lisa Karechi. Your Honour, Sharvand Hassan Zarehi. Mr. Zarehi is the publisher and editor-in-chief of the publication Sharvand, serving the Persian communities of Canada. Your Honour, today we are recognizing Mr. Zarehi's struggles for equality and social justice, for freedom of speech and democracy in his native Iran and around the world. Your Honour, Mr. Hassan Zarehi. Your Honour, Hindi abroad, Ravi Pandi. Mr. Pandey is the publisher and editor of the weekly publication Hindi Abroad, one of the best publications of the Hindi-speaking communities. We are recognizing Mr. Pandey for his great achievement and the services he is rendering to his community and Canada. The publication is recognized for the editorials, art, and visual presentation. Your Honour, Mr. Ravi Pandey. Your Honour, the weekly Bangla Mail, Shahidul Islam Mintu. The Weekly Bangla Mail is one of the largest ethnic publications within Canada. From humble beginnings in 1964, the publication grew to one of the largest and most popular weekly publications covering issues affecting the lives of the members of the Bangladeshi community. Your Honour, on behalf of the Weekly Bangla Mail, Mr. Shahidul Islam Mintu. Your Honour, Chinese Canadian voice, Patrick Long. The Chinese Canadian Voice is the newest publication of Mr. Patrick Long, serving the Chinese community of the GTA. The publication is retaining a policy of establishing an open dialogue between the Chinese community and the wider Canadian society. Your Honour, accepting on behalf of the Chinese Canadian Voice, its Editor-in-Chief, Mr. Patrick Long. 
Your Honor, Esti Ilu, Estonian Life, Kai Kilaspi. Your Honor, Esti Ilu is one of the best publications serving the small but very dynamic Estonian community of Canada. It is a strong advocate of respect for human rights, freedom of expression, and the democratic rights of an independent Estonian people. Your Honor, accepting on behalf of Esti Ilu is Ms. Kai Kilaspi, the Editor-in-Chief. Your Honor, El Centro, Susana Donan. Ms. Susana Donan is the Editor-in-Chief and Publisher of the weekly publication El Centro, El Centro Americano, serving the Latino-speaking community of Canada. Since 2000, the paper has, has received a number of awards for its editorial content advocating equality and social justice for all Canadians. Your Honor, Ms. Susana Donan. Your Honor, the weekly Asian connections, Rakhi Prabhakar. Rakhi Prabhakar is the publisher and managing editor of the weekly Asian Connections. The paper became a strong voice expressing the concerns of Canadians from various ethnic communities and with great editorials, its views are surrounding national issues and advocates to the new immigrant communities for fast integration into mainstream Canadian society. Your Honor, Ms. Rakhi Prabhakar, receiving on behalf of the weekly Asian Connections. Your Honor, Sol Portuguese, Portuguese son, Antonio Perinu. Mr. Antonio Perinu is the editor-in-chief of the publication Portuguese Sun. It is a publication very well respected by the community and is viewed as one of the most informative publications serving the Portuguese-speaking communities of Canada. Your Honor, Mr. Antonio Perinu, receiving for Sol Portuguese. Your Honor, the Philippine Reporter, Mr. Hermi Garcia. The Philippine Reporter is one of the most influential ethnic publications with a circulation covering all the Filipino communities of Ontario and the strongest voice of this community in Canada and the Philippines. Your Honor, Mr. Hermi Garcia. Your Honor, Thamilar Senta Marai, Rajaswari Raji Arasara Nam. Ms. Raji Arasaratnam is the publisher and editor-in-chief of the publication Samilar Sentamarai, serving the Tamil-speaking communities of Canada. She is one of the finest voices of multicultural Canada. Your Honour, Ms. Raji Arasaratnam. Your Honour, Yeni Hayat, Suleiman Guven. Mr. Suleiman Guven is a community leader, interpreter, advisor, and also publisher and editor of the Yeni Hayat newspaper, serving the Turkish, Kurdish-speaking communities of Canada. The City of Toronto recognized his hard work by honoring him for his leadership and courage at the Refugee Rights Day in 2000. Your Honor, Mr. Suleiman Guven. Your Honor, Asaha Magazine, Saad Al-Shafar. Asaha Magazine is one of the finest publications of its kind in Canada. The publication is serving the Arabic-speaking communities of the country and is an instrument of culture, art, and literature. We recognized Asaha Magazine for its outstanding editorial and visual expression. Your Honour, accepting on behalf of the Asaha Magazine, the Editor-in-Chief, Mr. al Safar Saad. Your Honour, Dutch Decrant Magazines, Mr. Thomas Byfoot. Mr. Thomas Byfoot is the publisher and editor-in-chief of both the Dutch and Decrant magazines. Both publications are serving the members of the Dutch-speaking communities of Canada. Today we are recognizing this magazine for its fine editorial and artistic visual presentation. Your Honour, Mr. Thomas Byfoot. Your Honour, Zizun, Pure Luxury Magazine, Helen Lee. The Zizun is the latest publication serving mainly the Chinese-speaking communities of Canada. Today we recognize this magazine for its fine line of production, the editorials, the artistic expression and visual presentation. The philosophy of the publishers of the magazine is to promote good citizenship, integration and to promote the arts amongst its readers. Your Honour, accepting on behalf of Pure Luxury Magazine is Helen Lee, Vice President. Your Honour, Road News, Rangoli Radio, Jatinder Jaswal. 
The Road News Rangoli Radio is one of the latest avenues in providing information of the transport industry. Being a proud member of the Brampton Board of Trade and Ontario Trucking Association, the program highlights the core issues of the sector and it is a true voice of the South Asian community. Your Honour, receiving on behalf of the Road News Rangoli Radio is producer and director Jatinder Jaswal. Your Honour, Ethiofidel.com, Johannes Ayalu. Johannes Ayalu is an accomplished journalist and as producer of Ethio Fidel, he has been a bridge for new immigrants to receive vital information as they transition to active citizenship in their adopted nation. He is most proud his beloved mother is here visiting from Ethiopia to celebrate this milestone. Recognized for excellence in production and broadcasting, and he wants to dedicate this award to his late father, Mr. Ato Ayalu Bisha. Your Honor, Mr. Johannes Ayalu, receiving for Ethiofidel.com. Your Honor, JaneFinch.com, David Nguyen. David Nguyen is a proud Vietnamese Canadian from Toronto's Jane Finch community. He brings local stories to life as a producer and videographer for JaneFinch.com and documents positive stories not covered by the mainstream press. David is also a reserve combat engineer for the Canadian Forces. David continues to act as a role model and champion for at-risk youth in the community. Your Honor, Mr. David Nguyen. Your Honor, Cinema, Ahmad Rostamijam. Mr. Rostamijam is a community activist, documentary filmmaker, and journalist. Through his documentary work, he is focused on the lives of immigrants from various ethnic communities and the problems and difficulties they face as they try to establish themselves and their families in their new country. Your Honor, Mr. Ahmad Rostamijam. Thank you very much. Congratulations, everyone.